Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is a singer, songwriter, and a performing artist. She has amassed an interesting fan base, um, churning out beautiful records and covers to their delight. Let's make welcome the beautiful pop artist. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. You? I'm fine. Thank yeah, you. looking very beautiful. Oh, you guys are like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we start talking about your music, it's the month of women, so yeah. we'll just have conversations around women before you tell us why you're singing. Okay. Right. Okay, so 90% um, of Nigerian women would rather be misses and depressed than miss and happy. And this is coming from Joro Olumofin. According to the relationship blogger, he says the title misses has done uh, more harm than good to women. A lot of women are suffering and going through emotional pain just to hold on to that title, Mrs. It is psychological. The term Mrs. makes a lot of women feel accomplished. A man has always been Mr. all his life. Even from when he was a 13-year-old boy, a man has been called Mr. He went on to say that the value of a single father is more than a single mother in the eyes of society, encouraging ladies to change the narrative and enjoy their lives. Hmm. Encourage your ladies to change the narrative. Now, this is it for me, right? I feel, unfortunately, we live in a very patriarchal system in, in society where everything patriarchal is adverse against the women. And, and because, again, there's so much emphasis being placed on marriage, they've made women believe that, you know what, if you're not married, then you've not achieved anything. To them, marriage is an achievement. And that is the undoing of the society, our tradition, our, our, our culture. Mm. And so a woman feels until I'm regarded as missus, have not self-actualized. Marriage is a big deal in Nigeria or in the African setting, whereby if a woman is not married, society sees her as... Well, I think marriage is a big deal everywhere. For someone to make it $1.3 million for being married, married. This this is an achievement is as well. It. Yeah. So it is, until we begin to realize that marriage isn't an achievement, all right, it's it's not an achievement. It's I feel like we've got to say that statement a lot, you know, but I think it is. Um, I think no, we it, just no, it isn't. Mm. It, it's not an achievement. It's two people agreeing to like embark on a journey can. together. Yeah, and it's that's still an achievement. A journey not everyone can accomplish that. Now, it's not an achievement because we've placed so much unrealistic expectation it's on still that an union called. Um, well, you can't take away an achievement called because of someone's exactly. unrealistic. The then, problem then, is then, that they then, make then, the then achievement. Then women are justified. Only... Then it, it is justified then when you say, you know what, being called a missus is a big deal. Yeah, for, you know what? You know, my amazing co you know, you Hold on, hold on. I want to hear what Marge is going to say. Marge. Okay, um, I think most of this blame is on the society. Um, growing up, uh, we've been programmed as women that growing up, our moms like would be like, every little thing you do boils down to uh, when you get married, this is what you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So we, we have that, that thing in our head that marriage is something that we are supposed to achieve at the end of the day. Yeah. After school, like, the next thing is marriage. Yeah. So I feel most time, most time me personally, I put the blame on mothers. Mm. Because I feel like, ah, don't put, don't put so much pressure on your daughters. Mm. Like give them the opportunity to like explore life. Talk about other things apart from marriage. Like if you don't do the dishes well, marriage. Mm. If you don't do this well, marriage. This is what you do in your husband's house. So that has been programmed in all our head that, yeah. oh, by the time I'm done with university. Yeah. Marriage. Hmm. So I feel most times it's the society. All the blame boils down to the society. But who are the societies? Yeah, we are. So which is are. why I like the conversation has expanded to yeah. people now saying that you need to train your boy child and your girl child, yeah. right? You cannot um, train. You know, there's a trend of the girl dad now being the perfect girl parent. Mm. You cannot train a girl and try to put her in a cage to tell her these are the things you can achieve and these are the things you cannot achieve. Let them both understand that yeah. the world is limitless and they can actually. Yeah achieve whatever they want to achieve. You want to I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with aspiring for marriage. I don't think there's any, I, I would definitely call it an achievement because dealing with humans is a, it's a lot of work to mm -hmm. have it's any, an any let me, to have any successful relationship. The problem if, is, if let me married, finish, the fine, problem is that they put that no, pressure, the problem is that they put that pressure solely on mm -hmm. the woman and not on the man as well. Like Chimamanda said, you are, you, we aspire, they teach us to aspire to marriage, but they don't teach the boys the same. And that is the problem. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful union. It's to help people become better, better persons in all aspects of life. So there's nothing wrong with it, but it's one-sided. And then all the pressure goes into the woman. Now, the idea of the title, which is so important, mm -hmm. that title, um, that is very societal as well. I know that there's some places that I wouldn't just be able to um, create my space in or 
demand respect just because I'm not married. Um, you can see that with churches, you can see that in banks, uh, there's some titles that you have to be married to be able to do that, but that doesn't align, um, doesn't go for men as well. So there's, there's that imbalance and I don't understand where we got that aspect from. I mean, I, I kind of do, but I feel like we should have dropped that a long time ago. For the longest time in history, women have always been a backup to men and we've not really actually been in forefront. So I understand the concept, but it just, it just needs to die down. And it's not a Nigerian thing. It's not, an it's not an African thing. It's a global thing. Women are still unequal globally. There's still a lot of pressures for marriage globally on yeah. women. So it's, <laughs> it's I always a lot of like work. to ask who the society is. Because, uh, I mean, we are society. We, we so are. Yeah, I are. think that personally, I would say we should learn to change our perception of people. So if you're having a conversation with someone or going into a business relationship or whatever it is, the fact that the person is married or not married should not should be the be reason factor. you think yeah. this person is responsible enough to take up this role. Not just for women as well. Because I think I have also had this conversation online where I said that even for men, there are actually mm -hmm. positions that they won't hold yeah. or get until they're, they're actually married. married. Mm -hmm. And this is, which, can I call them the cabals now in the industry will tell you, when you get married, you begin to understand some things mm -hmm. in a certain level that like you have a level of patience. I understand marriage. I understand that it is, an, for me, it is an achievement. I mean, I know it is for me. It might not be for oh. you. It is fine. That's fine. But no, I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's not an achievement for me because they're very, for you, very yes, it's, it's not. fine. Um, there, there are a lot of unreal, unrealistic expectations people put when they come into marriage ask out of 100 girls ask 90 girls why they want to get married because they're looking for somebody they can solely depend on to take care of them like their yeah. meal ticket that is the wrong reason to get married well, and, and, and 90 percent of girls getting married are getting married for that reason they're looking for somebody mm -hmm. that would take care of them and without any responsibility at all and mm -hmm. that has got to change all right many women feel you know once i'm married does that take you know, what you're talking about is the problems now not the fact that it's not let me, achievement let me finish, let me finish. Mm -hmm. that is the achievement for them all right. What about your self-actualization? Don't you have dreams? Don't you have ambitions? Don't you have things you want to do with your life? That. That's it. Marriage should not stop that. That's mm -hmm. why I say so marriage is not achievement. Your achievement is you becoming. Be achieve achievement. your dream. Achieve your plan. You have ambitions. Don't just look forward to going to a man's house and expect him to be your alpha and omega. Okay. What if that's then, not your intention? It's, it's, it's changed. That is that. Then that is okay, an achievement. That's not your achievement. Then that is your no achievement intention. for you because that is what you want to achieve. But as a, as an individual, what? if you feel ending up in a man's house. It's an achievement for you. What if that's so not your it. intention, now, many? Again, marriage is not, not everybody. Marriage let me, let me, let me is not. No, see. you've not, not landed for a while. Marriage yeah. is <laughs> not ending up not in a man's house. That's, that's that is not marriage. Which many? Which, which is what we are trying to correct? Marriage? Say there's powerful women who excuse us. Don't box us like that. What is marriage? Marriage is a union. Let me go back to the social studies, right? Between a man and a woman. Well, in this part of the world, to become one. For companionship, what does that even mean? yes. For com I, don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to get married. I don't to need be. to get married for companionship. But you can decide to get married for companionship. It, we all have wrong reasons why we well, want to get speak married. Speak for yourself. Right. Okay, we I mean, we all have wrong reasons why we want to get married. Let's talk about marriage. Marriage is not please. for please. companionship. See, yes. marriage is not in please. the mood for this heat. Yes, please. But <laughs> there is um, something you did last year when the brown skin girls um, dropped, mm -hmm. and you did a cover, and then you had to call it what? Light skin girls. Okay. Um, so many people were not comfortable with that, and yeah. you had to explain that. Yeah. Why did you feel the need to do that cover? Okay, um, Brown Skin Girl is a very interesting song. Mm -hmm. So just like every other fan across the world, mm -hmm. when I heard the song, I was like, oh my God, this is a very dope song. Um, when I made the cover, there, was no, there wasn't really any sentiment attached to it. I was just looking at the perspective from over here, Nigeria, where we'll have light skin girls and um, the darker shade um, brown skin girls. So I was like, okay, let me make a cover. I was, it was just a normal thing, like there's a studio, I wasn't doing anything. I was like, people make covers every day. So I was like, oh, let me go to the studio, let me make a cover without thinking about uh, the repercussion. Hmm. Yeah. So I made it like I made the cover and I put it out there. I got the uh, the backlash, and so many people misunderstood where I was coming from. They labeled it colorism. That okay, that maybe I was like praising like the lighter shades and oh, but that wasn't where I was coming from. I was coming from oh, a nice song. Let me go and make a cover with our own dynamic over here in Nigeria. And, well, most of the backlash actually came from diaspora. Like, no, most Nigerians didn't even 
like get to see like but from over there i know what they're going through over there with the whole racism colorism and everything so it affected them more seeing that it's also beyonce that sang the song and blue ivy and all, all of that so there was just emotions everywhere but well, one of those things where i'm like oh we're all at the end of the day we're all blacks i'm not like saying that one shade is better than the other shade mm. i was just like oh let me just make a cover with so this. you ignorantly made that cover. I won't, I, won't, I won't say ignorantly. Okay. I used the dynamics. I said, as I always yeah, tell people, okay, I use the dynamic Let's talk over about the here. dynamics of, yeah. of here. Because yeah. it's, it's one thing to say that. It's, it's interesting you say that it's American or Western people that are mm. having that issue. Because we do have colorism in Nigeria. It's fact. Um, maybe that's not your reality because I don't say brown's darker skin girl. But um, a dark skin girl will tell you in Nigeria that they understand fully, relates 100% to the people in America or in diaspora who mm. suffer from colorism because it, it is there. Um, there was a response that I saw in your, in your channel. It, mm. it hit the spot. And I wanted to ask you if you understood where that person was coming from. And that's why I said ignorant because if you said it was an ignorant thing, like I didn't actually think about colorism. I didn't even fathom darker people's experience and i made that music i would understand that but if you did and they still made that music then i wanted to i want to know what your thinking was with do you, that do you, do you know do you know the funny thing i've actually experienced colorism because uh back in the days i was into ushering jobs and i've been told a couple of times oh you're not light enough mm. they go for lighter skin and they're like you consider oh. yourself a dark skin or a light skin you. i used to consider myself a light skin but not, okay, not so, anymore. But this, 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 uh, this song in question yeah. is what brown skin brown girls. Skin, it's not yeah. dark skin girls. Yeah. Yeah. Why you did all, you, you feel the girls. need to create light skin yeah. girls when, personally, as far as I'm concerned, mm. whether you're dark or you're light, which I'm not very comfortable with that term, light skin, mm. I think everybody's still brown skin. Brown skin, yeah. Yeah, see, all right, from, from the place where I'm coming from, people aren't labeled brown. Here. Here. Because we don't understand the color brown. Yeah, it's not, it's not because we don't understand the color brown. It's just like, we're all labeled blacks. Like, mm. then there's a group of people that will not shade us into light skin. Chocolate. Chocolate. They call people chocolate. So it's not as if you're calling anybody chocolate milk. Okay, brown. do you? Do yeah, you? but I'm just saying from, as I'm trying to say that, from the dynamic here, from where I'm coming you just wanted from. to represent the lighter skinned or with our Did you see that there was a right? need to fill that gap? Usually you do you'd make that cover and change the lyrics because there's a need for that, right? Like yeah. people that's what Beyonce was trying to do with that song. There's a need for black girls to be represented positively. So she made that song. For you to make that song for mm -hmm. light skinned girls, is it that you saw in this dynamics, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, that there was a need for that to represent light skin light skinned girls? No. Okay. So then why? Okay, that's why you want to say something. Yeah, because yeah. that's why I feel. Right. I feel. I feel as black, we're all brown-skinned people. We're just with different, with different shades. You know, the different shades of brown. I wouldn't categorize you as a light, as, as a light-skinned girl. Mm -hmm. You're a brown-skinned girl. Just you just have a different shade. Now I feel. I, mean, I just. I just went through the, the write-up and one or two comments. People felt you made. Um, you made joke. Of, of, an of, issue. Of, of, of an issue that is really pertinent to a people, to, mm -hmm. to a whole a race. A, 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 not a you race, know? but like I a mean, skin tone. Yeah, a skin tone. Yeah. You know, and so, I mean, it's pertinent. Why, why, if you wanted to make everybody feel all inclusive, you could have come up with something different, a different kind of song, instead of, you know, remixing what Beyonce did. I, I try to see the point you were trying to make. You wanted everyone to feel loved and included, mm. but unfortunately, you didn't. You didn't really succeed in doing that. I, mean, I, I feel like I feel like this is an inter interrogation. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel like well, like, it, like it's an I interrogation. It's, well, well, sorry about that. It's yeah. just that you, we haven't really heard your voice. I mean, mm -hmm. the one thing you've talked about is the um, BET um, yeah. platform, and we, that doesn't do justice for us at all. And I think that your we I got an insight that you were in cousin ham. Okay, even yeah. though that, I mean, your, your intention wasn't to cause harm. That's what I got, but I still didn't get like the gist of it. Like, and that's why you coming on the show and using your own voice mm -hmm. to explain where you're coming from could help. So it's not an attack. A good example for it is, is like how they, you know how they say like Black Lives Matter. You know that, that incident, yeah. right? Now somebody else comes out and say, no guys, lives. all lives, lives matter. matter. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 that, that's, that's even worse. No, what, what you did what, was white, white lives, lives matter. matter. Yeah. So you're taking away from the Black Lives Matter thingy and 
the one thing I understood from what you've said is that in these dynamics, yes, colorism isn't a topic that we talk about pressing. Mm -hmm. Not that it's not, it doesn't well, exist. Is, yeah, it true. doesn't exist, but we don't talk about it. And that's fair. And absolutely, mm -hmm. I, I don't think an American would have done that because they are a lot more educated on it. It's on the forefront of conversation. So it's good that, you know, you did that to be able to mm -hmm. bring that into conversation. Some people have never heard the term, what, of colorism, colorism yeah, of true. how, and like some light-skinned people don't even know that black-skinned people in Nigeria live that story. So no, it's not an integration. Okay. We just want to and, and again, she, she said something. Sorry, yeah, she said something very important when she was talking. I mean, I mean, I've heard of producers on video set who would say, you know what, if you're not a certain skin type, oh, color, yeah, that's the colorism. Yeah, but well, let's not go into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, you know, oh, your so, new single. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now to talk about that, obviously that's not about colorism or light skin. No, no, that's Thank about God. relationship. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah. so tell us more about that and like what to expect. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Cop Down Food dropped on that was February twenty eighth. Yeah, very interesting song. I don't even listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't Fool. Okay, the message I was trying to pass with Cobb Don't Fool was um, from past relationship where there was a whole lot of deception. Right. So uh, I was I was being stringed along for a very, very long time. Like, yes, <laughs> very long time. So it got to a point where How I was long? like, wow, hmm. probably like three years. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. Was so, so yeah. <laughs> So it got to a point where I was like, nah, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't do this for. <laughs> I was like, I got to a point where I was like, no, I can't, I can't do this for you. You can't mm. string me along. Like, I'm too good for this. Nah. Yes, girl. Yes, I was like, no, mm -mm. Mm. I can't do this no more. So that was where um, the line "cop down full" came from. So "cop down full" kind of signifying, oh, your time is up. Right. Yeah, your cop down. Come on, pack and go. Yeah. Yeah. So we um, would like you to sing just a little bit. A verse of "cop down full" before we go. <laughs> All right, okay, it goes like this. I got lover, she be in no gamma time, baby, it's over. Mm. We eat all your streaks and your busy body. 24 hey. 7, see he no more fun for you. <laughs> Find another. She be in no gamma time, baby, it's over. We eat all your tricks and your busy body. 24 7, see he no more loving for you. Yay. Thank you so Thank much you so for much your time, having Madge, and for having this conversation with us. Yeah. Thank you for being here. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And please definitely visit our YouTube channel to watch this conversation all over again. And also get her music, Cop Don't Fall, Cop right? Don't fall. Yeah, awesome available insights. everywhere. Um, my thank you is always good to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Yak, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us. Thank you.